Chiapo Lin was awarded his doctorate in 1999. His project was the sloped IPS Boy, a solo, floating, deep water wave energy generator. It evolved from a Swedish concept and reacts to waves by moving at slope angles intermediate between pure heave and pure surge. We thought that such a device would be good at getting energy out of waves much longer than itself, a goal of all wave energy designers. Chupo's first model showed that a boy could be made to move at the slope angle. He then built rigs which would allow him to measure the work done by the waves and thus get some idea of the capture efficiency of the new device. His final model moved at a fixed but variable angle. It slid freely up and down an old aluminium dinghy mast on a water-fed hydrostatic bearing. It reacted against an amplifier-driven DC motor with a force signal from a load cell just above the float. The bottom of the mast stuck by suction to the floor of the tank. Chippo tested his device in three-dimensional waves like these, as well as in regular long-crested waves. He also used the dynamometer to drive the model in still water to obtain the underlying parameters of his device, the hydrodynamic characteristics. The holes in the float allowed him to slide metal rods in and out to see the effects of changing the mass of the model. In these experiments, Chupo was able to learn a great deal about the behaviour of a constrained, sloped IPS device. His outstanding discovery was that the model showed an exceptionally wide bandwidth when it was sloped at intermediate angles such as 35 or 45 degrees. His work showed that it should be possible to design a full-scale sloped IPS wave power device that would efficiently capture energy from a wide range of wavelengths and sea conditions. And his thesis successfully concluded the first phase of investigation into the sloped IPS boy.